Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Malin. So I just want to talk to those students who are preparing for November uh, NICT session and also preparing for NEET PG 2023. Guys, this is the most difficult part of uh, your preparation. That is the beginning because you know a lot of your friends must be uh, taking some branch in the counseling and some of your friends must be taking something or compromising or some of students they just quit the race and they move out of the competition. So this is a time you might feel lonely you might feel you know that you don't have anyone to talk to but trust me everyone goes through this phase where whoever have dreamed something best in their life has gone through this phase including me so even if you feel like that just hang on i have you know i have said earlier as well the key to success in any competitive exam is to hang on to not quit it does not matter how many uh, hours you study daily even if you are able to study like 2 4 hours daily it's okay you know people talk about you know studying like 16 hours 18 hours yes that you will eventually achieve at the end you know as you progress through your preparation what is important is just to keep doing something at this stage a lot of students get you know uh, like we see a lot of toppers interviews we get discouraged by you know what to do and a lot of students are uh, looking for the guidance, the maximum messages and mail that I received are about sir, will I be able to do it or not? See, uh, I don't understand why you are seeking validation from anyone. You don't need validation from anyone. You only person who can assurance, give you assurance and only person can make sure that you will get the seat is you. See, uh, rank one, if you see like, you know what happens with a lot of students who are preparing at this moment, when they see interview, they feel like, you know, whatever the topper has done, I have almost done everything. Like I have done like more than 90% of the things that topper, you know, they talk in their interview about source and about everything. Still, it's, uh, you know, it's difficult to understand that why I did not get the success. Because, you know, that remaining 10% is the key. That 10% that personal touch that the uh, toppers give, that differentiate them from others. See, do not try to replicate anyone. Like there are a lot of YouTubers, you know, I always say students spend more time on YouTube searching how to study rather than studying itself. See, if you watch someone's video, you see, what I give uh, through my channel as well is the plan. It's not like, you know, uh, like you, you cannot just keep listening all the videos and all the toppers and, you know, try implementing everyone. If you like someone's method, if you like, okay, these plans make sense, how can I integrate in my plan? See, if I have to be at your place, I cannot be in your shoes. I don't know what are your weaknesses and your strength. So you have to make your plan. I can give you a skeleton. I can give you like or your idea how to go about it. But don't expect from anyone, you know like uh, spoon feeding is not possible and it's not necessary also if you want really want to be in the top rankers you have to you know know your flaws you have to read yourself first that what are your flaws what i need to be uh, done i am telling you a very simple thing see which source to do which classes to join it's irrelevant all classes are great don't think about some classes as bulk uh, you know material and it's difficult to cover a lot of students say sir will i be able to cover see a lot of students fail in this exam because they try to cover the portion see this is not something task or this is not food that you have to finish and go somewhere if you are not able to understand and not able to remember the things at the end of your reading or your revision then all the reading is useless so first, I'll tell you a very simple plan. First, finish your uh, first and second prof subject. First, finish your anatomy, physio, biochemistry, patho, pharma, micro. First, have a good command on them. Then your big subject will become easier. Come, come, you know, you should join them with the short subjects, your short uh, six subjects. So you study them together. So that will give you a, f a sense of a accomplishment. Just stick to one source. Finish one note. No matter which classes you do. Even if they are bulky, it's okay. Cut, uh, cut down one to hours from your sleep, cut down your social media time completely and invest that time into study. See the key is, the, whenever you read, read to understand. See I have seen students who have done like 5-6 revisions but they fail to get rank. I have seen students just do one two revisions and they score a great rank. Because if you read well, whenever you are reading, see it's not the number of revisions but the quality of revisions that matters. And you have to tell you yourself that, you know, we get glorified the toppers when they say I have done 5 revisions, I have done 6 revisions. But you don't know they have been doing this for last 2 years. No one can do like 5-6 revisions in the span of 5-6 months. That's not practical. You, you think yourself, is it possible to do 5-6 revisions? of a 19 subjects in uh, 5 months or 6 months. I am seeing effective revisions. Anyone can just read for the sake of it. So you have to understand that fact. Don't get misguided. I am telling you that, you know, read your uh, material well. Everything will come from notes. Don't run behind those 10-20 difficult questions which nobody knows. Finish your first 
दिस सिक्स फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड क्रॉफ सब्जेक्ट कपल दैम विथ योर शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट आफ्टर दैट देन मूव ऑन टू योर बिग सब्जेक्ट डू नॉट टच योर मेडिसिन सर्जरी ऑफ स्कैन एंड पी एस एफ एंटिल एनलिस यू आर यू हैव अ गुड कमांड ओवर योर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड क्रॉफ सब्जेक्ट देन आई हैव रिलीज द हाई इल टॉपिक्स आई हैव गिवन द पी डी फॉल्स विद माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सो डू ओनली हाइड हाई टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम दिस बिग फोर्थ सब्जेक्ट एंड यू विल बी डन so this is what actually you need don't get run behind gt A lot of student have obsession of gt let go the obsession of gt even if you give just 3 4 gt still your exam that is adequate don't waste time on gt you know i give example to student when you like when in our kitchen when we cook rice do we check every time like after like every 5 minutes do we open the cooker and check whether the rice rice is done or not we know that you know that three after three whistles rice will be ready and these whistles are your revision and you have because you know with experience we know that after three whistles rice will be ready so you don't have to check every time whether it's ready or not you all know where you stand you know like in your preparation if you have rank like maybe 30 60 or 1 lakh or 1.5 lakh you know where you stand just by giving multiple jts you will not know that how much you have improved but you have to know the methods you trust the whistle you trust your revisions so you work on your methods you work on your technique don't run behind anything just stick to your notes give custom be selective with mcqs first finish your last then your uh, 8 to 10 years pi quiz for net 3 to 5 years pi quiz for uh, ini and do custom modules and subject wise modules for a difficult subject and don't go and seek validation from anyone that whether you will be able to do it or not just stay there just keep reading read to understand work on your concepts and you know uh do it in a better way rather than just finishing you don't need four five revisions even one two revisions are enough to get a great rank so guys just this phase is very important you will feel lonely you will feel sad you will feel depressed it's okay everybody goes through that just hang on there and keep working hard i wish you all the best